Excited, I'm ready. It's been overdue. Yep. Uh, August 31st. I'm just ready to put on the show. I'm ready to just throw these hands. I'm ready for these eight ounce gloves. See what they gonna feel like because you know once you're in there, you're in there. Jordan Robbins, uh, born and raised in Shawnee, Oklahoma. Uh, I ran collegiate track at oh, Langston yeah. University, and I played wow. football at OBU. So wow. Yeah. You're Number sure. one has to be uh, Canelo. Mm. Number two was Javante Tank Davis. Mm. Uh, we're gonna have to get uh, a lot of people don't like him, but I like him. I think he's good. Shakur <laughs> Stevenson. <laughs> I gotta get Boots in there. Boots, that's Boots. four. And Crawford. Wow. So I had a friend that I worked with. Uh, shout out to Chauncey. His name's Chauncey. Yeah, into hitting Chauncey. the mitts and doing some bag work, and the rest is history. My favorite food? Yes, sir. Man. <laughs> it's going to be, uh, be kind of crazy, but some, some chicken. Chicken uh, wings, bro. I can't. If anybody know me, wings, <laughs> wings is mine, bro. Like, man, everybody knows the Lamborghini is top. But that is my favorite car, bro. Fast car? Yeah, fast car. Uh, why Lamborghini? I always liked them since I was a kid. That's good. Coaching since 2000, probably 2006, but like a year before I retired. Re I retired uh, professionally myself in 2007. So you used to be a boxer? Yeah, I boxed wow. for about six, seven years. Yeah, and then all, all over Oklahoma and uh, all over the United States. So you know, I've been out of the country a couple times myself. So, uh, I did that quite a bit. Uh, 32 professional fights. Uh, so for how long have you been, you know, have you opened this gym, you've been working on this gym? Uh, well, I've been here, yes, sir. here at this location for about 10 years now. 10 years? Yeah, but prior to that, we were in McLeod and then started in Shawnee. So ever since 2006, we've been training, we've been training fighters and just growing more and more, you know. And uh, this is, since COVID, I just kind of backed down a lot of fighters and just started working with this, this is a small handful. Wow. Of course, you can see I don't have a, a, a whole lot of big space, but you know, in the summer times we open the doors to, and you know, to set the, you know, to get uh, the, the guys ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, here, you know, I got anything else as, as a big gym would. You know, I, I have all the tools and the necessary tools. Uh, so why, to work why, with. why are you going to boxing? Why boxing? Why boxing? I mean, I, I, I kind of liked it ever since I was young. You know, and huh? just grew into me, and uh, you know. And, I just, I just liked it, you know, so. All right. Yeah. Before I let you go, Coach, uh, give me your top five, you know, box of all time. Uh, which one? Your top five. Top five? Yeah, box of all time. Boxers of all time? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, you know, well, number one is, you know, Muhammad Ali. Okay. And, uh, you know, and then uh, Rocky Marciano back in the day. Okay. Uh, you know, um, uh, Pac-Man, Pacquiao. Pacquiao, that's three. Uh, Young, then I, I, you know, going back to Sugar Ray Leonard also. Okay, that's four. And then uh, and, and Hitman Hearns. Thomas, Thomas Hearns. Wow. So, I yeah. thought you was going to put yourself in it. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, to, you know, I wouldn't say myself, but you know, you know I, I like going for real ones. So. Okay. 
Last question, yo. One of your fighter is making his professional debut, you know? Uh, Jordan? Yes. What do you have to say about that? Like, yeah. Well, you know, it's, uh, I mean, he's anxious about it, you know? We're just trying to, you know, we'll find the right moment. You know, we're, we're, we're prepared for a fight we got coming up the 31st, but right now it's kind of a, a uh, we're waiting on the right opponent to come through because the original opponent, you know, fell out from an injury. So uh, we're, we're trying to find us the right opponent so we can do what we need to do. And uh, I believe he's ready, you know. He, so uh, it's just up to him to get in there and put the work in. You know? So we've been doing a lot of training, a lot of sparring. So he, he's ready. Okay. Uh, do you have any advice for that? You know. For the coaches, upcoming coaches, boxer, uh, uh, or yeah, uh, well, the coaches, you know, just uh, work well with these uh, these kids, and you know, and just uh, the kids and adults, you know, just work well. You know, uh, uh, keep you know, keep positive with these guys, and you know, just stay on them, you know, because uh, some of them are. Some of these uh, kids that come into to box, you know, they they're, they're in just for you know part time or whatever. But some that really like it, you know, and then they just need to be pushed and uh, pushed into it, you know. And um, you, you one, one of these guys will be a great fighter, you know, even though you know even one they're just kind of slow into it, you know, and yeah. he'll eventually pick it up, and then you can just go with that guy and turn him into a world champion. You never know. Um, I thought we all, you know, younger fighters, you know, I here beside, you know, I know Jordan is, you know, yeah. he's a bigger guy. Do you, you know, want to share some light on some of the younger boxers that you Well, I mean, I, I, this kid right here, you know, he's, uh, he's been around for a few years, you know, and this is, uh, um, this is actually a, another coach of mine here, his name is Michael. Okay. Uh, he, he coaches out of Seminole, okay. a few towns over. Okay. And this is little nephew right here. Okay. And so, and then this kid over here is Gerald. Gerald's out of Seminole as well. Okay. So uh, he's 17. And then uh, I got a little female fighter. She's, yeah, I've seen her before. Yeah, uh, she's good. Yeah, she she does she's real good. well, you know. And she just uh, uh, just keep her head into it, you know. And so she does real good. All right. Yeah. So let me wish. Uh, Jordan, you know, Absolutely. best of luck on uh, August 31st. Absolutely. Thank you so much right. for your time, and God bless you, Coach. Great. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. What's going on, you two? Welcome back to TMTV 2020. And it's Friday evening out here in Shawnee. I'm with one of the you know, upcoming boxers from Oklahoma. Sir, my name is Jordan Robbins, uh, yeah. born and raised in Shawnee, Oklahoma. How did you get into boxing? So I had a friend that I worked with, uh, shout out to Chauncey, his name's Chauncey. Shout out to Chauncey. Uh, got me into hitting the mitts and doing some bag work and the rest is history. Wow, do you like it at first when, you know? At first, no, I didn't like it. Uh, it took me a while to understand and how to learn combinations and actually do footwork and just watching boxing and all the people who've done it and going back history and after history and maybe fall in love with it. Uh, so before we go too far in this, um, on this um, interview, um, do you want to give us your top five, the active top five right now that you're feeling? The ones I'm feeling right now, yes, number sir. one has to be uh, Canelo. Mm. Number two is Javante Tank Davis. Mm. Uh, we're gonna have to get uh, a lot of people don't like him, but I like him. I think he's good. Shakur <laughs> Stevenson. I gotta get him up in there. Uh, did he just sign a contract with uh, I think a match? Box? Yeah, he did. Yeah, that's that's that. gonna be a big money, man. Yes, it is. It's gonna be it a big is. money. That's mm -hmm. uh, say Canelo, mm -hmm. uh, Tang, mm -hmm. Shakur Stevenson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number three right now. Okay, I gotta get Boots in there. Boots, that's boots. four. And Crawford. Wow. Man, you got solid. <laughs> mm -hmm. Solid motherfucker on that list, mm -hmm. man. Wow, that's 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 really good, man. Um, boxing, right? Mm -hmm. In Oklahoma City. Yes, For how long you been doing boxing in Oklahoma City? Uh, Oklahoma. I don't want to say Oklahoma City. Uh, 
we're gonna do since 2020 is when I started. Oh. Started actually the COVID that happened and we couldn't go to gyms or whatever. So that's when it really kicked off for me. Wow. Can you tell us your first, um, your first experience as far as fight is concerned? Because you know, sometimes sparring is different from, you know, yeah. Actually and, fighting and stuff like that. So yeah. like my first fight experience, Ah, uh, you know, it's nerve wracking, you know, getting out there in front of a bunch of people. But, you know, you just got a job to do going there. It's all, amateur is all about experience. You know, people care about their record and stuff about that, but it, do amateur. Do people do with the amateur? Yeah, some people do. Wow. Some people care about it. To me, I just want to. I know how much y'all, that yeah. don't count to me. No, it don't really count. You want to fight the best. The that's, be that's, yeah. all it, that's all it's about. Fighting the best, getting there with people. Golden Glove champions, even some nationals. Like, if you can get get in there with those people, why not? You just mentioned uh, Golden Gloves. Did mm -hmm. you, you know, win? Or did you participate in any yeah. Golden Gloves? I participated in it twice. I lost both times. I lost the last one to uh, Dominique. Semi was it final? Huh? Do you uh, well, you lost in the final, right? The semi. Semi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to my dog, Dom. Wow. Yes, sir. It's, 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 you know, okay fighter too. He's good. Yeah, he's really he's good. good. Uh, what's your typical, you know, training day looks like, you know? Typical training day. Yeah. I'll run a mile, you know, warm up, stretch, shadow box, and we'll hit the bag, run some drills, finish up with some ab work, or I'll go run, finish that up. Wow. So in a week, like how many days do you do you train or do you work out? So I train about four or five days a week. Sometimes I train six. I, I do need to chill on that. That's a lot. Yeah, I do a lot. I just do too much. So uh, sometimes I need to chill. But yeah, mostly the most five, five, five days. Five days, wow. So talking about boxing in Oklahoma, right? Do you have any, some of the boxers that you, you know, that you're feeling that you know, like, okay, they, they're good. They're here that's active by like amateurs? Yeah, amateurs. Well, we have, a, we have some that's, that's here in Oklahoma that's real good. Uh, man, we got Giovanni. Giovanni's okay. good. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's still an amateur. There's a lot more that are amateur, but they just turned pro, so really can't can't name them. Um, but uh, Eric, Eric, oh, Eric, Valencia, yes, yeah. I think he's still yeah. amateur right now. He's good, real good, some good work. Uh, so, you know, boxing is a combination of uh, mental and physical, right? Mm -hmm. So, how do you prepare yourself for, for a fight mentally? Mentally, you know, you want to get good rest the night before, you know, nothing but good rest, good food, just stay in a good positive mindset. When you go to the fight, just chill, relax, meditate, uh, envision that, that fight, you know, what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. wow. So, talking about losses, because you just mentioned that you lost um, in the semi of the Golden Gloves too, you know. To one of the upcoming fighters to dominate. Mm -hmm. How do you handle loss? You know, it, it, losing is tough because you know you put so much work into it. Nobody wants to lose. It. No, nobody's going into a fight wanting to lose and knowing that they're going to lose. You're going to win, you know. But mm -hmm. if it happens, you gotta you know take out on the chin. Yeah. You know, pick your head back up, go back to the lab, but work, work on what you need to correct, execute it in the next fight. Does that make you better? Mm-hmm. Yep. It makes you better. Wow. Yep. Wow. So, um, you having a fight coming up? Yes, sir. You want to tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, your upcoming fight? I'm, a, I'm excited. I'm ready. It's been overdue. Yep. Uh, August 31st. I'm just ready to put on the show. I'm ready to just throw these hands. I'm ready for these eight ounce gloves, see what they gonna feel like because you know, once you're in there, you're in there. And you know, the fight is gonna be without Hector. Hey, yes, sir. Are you mentally prepared for that? Mm-hmm. I am. 
Have you have you spot without headgear? Yep. Okay. I have. Yes, okay. sir. How, is there any difference? Is that you know? Mm, a little bit, not too much, but that's what 16s on. You know, I haven't done them with eights, but I know it's going to be real different. So. Does he make it to see more? Yeah. Because you know sometimes when you have the uh, idea, it's like you can only see it yep. just right here. Yep. Wow. yep, you can see more, but you're going to feel more too, oh. so. Wow. wow. So, if you don't mind me asking, you, you know, because this is going to be like a general question right now. Mm -hmm. um, what's your favorite food? My favorite food? Yes, sir. Man. <laughs> it's going uh, to be kind of crazy, but some, some chicken. Chicken uh, wings, bro. I can't. If anybody know me, don't go wings. To <laughs> wings is mine, bro. Like, yeah. Uh, anybody know me? It's gonna be wings. Nothing but wings. Let's kill it. Your favorite car? My favorite car. Yeah. Now say, I know you're gonna make it big. Yeah. You make it big. One up. Man. You know, Spain. Spend some money. <laughs> yeah. Man, everybody knows Lamborghinis. Top. But that is my favorite car, bro. Fast car? Fast car. Uh, why Lamborghini? I always liked them since I was a kid. That's good. But if I could get one car, though, yeah. it'd be a 1996 to a, 1996 Toyota Supra. Oh, Supra? Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's like, a fast car, too, mm -hmm. though. Wow. That's my dream car right there. Wow. So besides boxing, man, what do you what do you do outside boxing? Like you know, what do you do for fun? You play games? Last, uh, I just I'm a family man. You know, I have two daughters that I love all so much. So I just chill with them, play with them. We go to the park, go to the games, or my youngest just started dance. So we and we're doing that right now. So that's what I like to do in my spare time. Uh, you don't go shopping? Nah, I don't go shopping. Mm -mm. Wow. Uh, uh, uh. Only this is for my daughters, you know. They want to go some. Yeah, we, I get them some. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm still gonna be, you know, around boxing. Like, you know, uh, what do you think about Shakar Stevenson? What do you think about him? I think he's, I think he's good. I think he's real good. He's quick. He's fast. He's really good at defense. He knows his his range. I give him that. Uh, but I like to sit there and exchange sometimes, yeah. Um, but it's boxing at the end of the day. It's it's not slugging. It's not going there to get killed or get hurt, or lose brain damage. So what he's doing, I like it. I know what's going on. Some people don't know what's going on. So I think he's good. You know? That's a good thing, man. You know, like they say, CTE, the concussion, stuff mm -hmm. like that. And one thing I noticed, noticed lately, some of the old boxers, the way they talk, I don't know, maybe because of the, the E they get on the head, they talk slurry. So if he's doing that, to avoid that, I, I, won't, I won't knock that out. So what do you think about Tank too? Tank? Tank Davis. I think he, he's the truth. He got nobody can think that Tank can box. Tank can box. Tank's a really good boxer, and he can he can take some hits. We see we seen that. Uh, he just got good placements with his punches, so he can lay you out any any time. So we you got Tank. Shakur. I got Tank. Why? I got Tank. He's just too strong for Shakur. Shakur? Yeah, he's just too strong for him. Uh, and if you don't mind me asking, do you have any? boxer or fighter that you modeling your style of fighting around mm. Mm. that you like okay yeah i'm gonna steal his style you know oh, i'm gonna try yeah. to you know i still i still a lot of i still a lot uh you know i watch a lot uh still a lot of crawford's movements mm. i just learned fight. how yeah i learned how to switch you know so i think fighting both ways it's a given. Yeah. Like you, you need to learn how to do so it all. So you can do up to those and south walk mm -hmm. naturally. Not naturally, but I'm working you on. Walk it. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So as far as your long term and short term goal, let's start with the short term goals in boxing. Like you turning pro. Like okay, what's the short term goal? A short term goal. Yeah. In boxing. Yeah. Uh, really, I'm I'm a lot up there in age. Okay. So I just want to get in and get as much as I can okay. while I can, you know, I want to get a belt, you know, that's that's my goal. 
get as much as I can, get a belt, see what happens after that. Long term goal. Mm -hmm. Long term goal. Make a lot of money. <laughs> nah, not really a lot, but make make a good. You gotta have income. the dream. You gotta yeah. believe because everything starts with a dream. Yeah, you know, for sure. it might sound crazy to me or to anybody listening to this, but yeah. you know what you want. Mm -hmm. You know, because boxing is it's a tough sport. Yeah, you know. It's a tough spot uh, mm. for you to, to make that decision that you want to turn pro. Mm. There should be some financial reward you yeah. know, towards that. For sure. So, so, so. And um, do you have um, any, say, we have some of these upcoming younger boxers, you know, age 15, 16. Do you have, you know, any advice for them or what will you say to them, you know? Try to get as much of those fights in as you can. Uh, fight the best. Go to these tournaments. Okay. Uh, go to these Golden Glove events. Like, fight the best. Because this is all about experience. You want to get in there and get the best work that you can. Uh, don't take anything for granted. Just go in there and execute your training, you know. You win some, you lose some. Just go back to the lab if you lose. Go back to the lab if you win. Just start working on your next craft. That's a good uh, way to look at it. Because mm -hmm. some people, they, they are good when they win it. Mm -hmm. When they take a loss, it's like it takes them forever to come back. Yep. I'll give you an example. I don't know. I could be wrong and I could be right. If you look at um, Aerospence. Mm -hmm. To me, I thought he was the best, and he was the best too. Mm -hmm. It took a loss, and it's like to come back is becoming a problem. Yeah. But let me ask you, how hard it is, man, to like, do people really make you feel better when you take a loss, or you have to make yourself feel better to get out of that zone? Well, for me, it, it got me straight back into the gym. the gym. Like, I worked hard, like, I was working so hard. I was losing so much weight, you know, I didn't take no break, I didn't take no rest, so it can make you or it can break, break you. Yeah. So. Does it take you a longer time to figure that out? Mm, for most people it could be because, you know, everybody's different, but it's all about how you feel and how yeah. you took it, you know. Wow. But, like, does coach you say you take a loss now, does what coach says affect you or make you get out or you have to do it by yourself? It all takes you, yourself. Yourself. Yourself motivating. You know, a lot of people can help you and guide you and push you, but it takes you and what's up here. That's the same way yeah. with me too. Like sometimes when I did something wrong and people trying to motivate me, yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's coming through my right ear and it's going through the left. Mm -hmm. But it will, I will actually get to a point I'm like, man, it's not a big deal, it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. And before I know it, you know, I just, you know, stop picking up myself, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, beside boxing, right? Did you play any other sport? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Football? Uh, uh, football, basketball, track. You said basketball. I yeah. <laughs> you said basketball? Basketball. Are you in high school or where? Yeah, high school. High school, yeah. okay. I ran collegiate track at oh, Langston yeah. University and I played wow. football at OBU, so. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That sounds, that's good, man. Yes, sir. So what was growing up like? You was born in Shawnee, right? Yes, sir. What was growing up like in Shawnee, it looks like, you know, when yeah. you was coming up? Just typical, you know, kid stuff. We ride bikes, you know, nice. we meet up at parks. It was cool, you know, just growing up, hanging with your friends, you know, we friends till now, so just real kid stuff back in. So high school, you run track, then you go to Langston University. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what did you study at Langston University? When did I start it? Study. Study uh, yeah. broadcast journalism was my wow. major. Wow, yes, you're doing my job. You're probably going <laughs> to end up doing this. <laughs> One do day. you see yourself, you know what I mean? Do you see yourself doing it though? Yeah, like oh yeah. Boxing, coming, you know, doing commentary for boxing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's all up here, you know, what you envision, you know. Wow. You want to, you know, teach me or tell me something about broadcasting that, uh, you know, like basic, like a fundamental? Well, I'll tell you that it was a lot of, you know, reading, okay. a lot of reading, a lot of dictionary work. Dictionary if work. I have to put wow. that out there. But yeah, 
uh, that's that's about it. Learning how to speak and speak. just learning how to learn big words and what they mean. Man. You be uh, engaging, really. So uh, that's good, man. I can't wait, man. Yes, sir. Man, I can't wait for two of us, you know, to call a fight, man. One of these days, mm. man. That would be, you know, that's my dream. I didn't study uh, uh, journalism in school. But I just love it. Mm -hmm. I like talking to people. I did geology mm -hmm. in school, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden, I felt like I have to kind of like you know figure out my calling. Yeah, and that was how I ended up you know buying a camera. Because second thing why I bought the camera was I want to create memories. Right. You know when we all mm -hmm. long gone, I want to leave something that people can watch and remember me for. Yes, sir. So you just uh, give me your top five, right? Mm -hmm. You wanna. Rank them. Rank them? Yeah. In my top five? Yeah, because I still remember you said Canelo, yep. Terrence Crawford, yep. Shakur, yep. Um, Boots and Tank. Boots and Tank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, I, I got to put I got to put Crawford number one. Crawford, okay. Canelo number two, Tank number three, Boots four, Shakur five. five. Why is Shakur five? Uh, <laughs> For me, I feel like Shakur is better than Tank. Uh, I don't know. I just can't. I, just, I can't see him pass Tank. I, I just really? Can't. Yeah, I can't. What rounds? If the album it happened to be in the ring, what round do you? Ah, uh, I don't think he'll knock him out. Uh, I okay. think he went by decision. By decision. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Speaking of Terence Croft, do you watch his last fight? Yeah. What do you think about that fight? Uh, I thought it was a good fight. For him at 154, I thought that was a good fight. That dude, they, they, praised, they praised that guy, but at it, 154, it was tough. yeah, that 154, that was a good fight for him. Because he caught Crawford, to me, like, he caught him with a couple of shots, like, straight right straight hands. Straight right, yeah, yeah, right in between the gloves. Like, yeah. I'm like, what's going on? Like, boom, yeah. boom. Yeah, that was a good little fight for him at 154. Yeah, yeah. Um, Tang too. Um, last fight against um, Martin. Mm -hmm. What do you do? You think Martin was too like? Do you think he, you know, he was come the, too fast? Yeah. Or? <laughs> no, I just think that he was just on the ropes too much, you know. But you're in there with Tank, you know. He hits hard, so you have to move, you know, move around. But I think he was just chilling too much on them ropes, the rope. and that's what caught him. Do you think he ropes. has what it takes though? Cause yeah. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. Cause I feel like he, I know he's good, but he's just, he's just a little bit timid. Even at the press conference, mm -hmm. he couldn't get his word out. Mm -hmm. And at the point, Tank was like, "Oh, your coach is here for the check." Yeah. And I'm like, even uh, what's the name, Aerosmith, with the phone call saying, "Oh man, I know you're gonna beat him." Like, I mean, you know. What do you think about all these fighter picking people that they know that they can beat? Do you think it's a good thing? Nah, I, I don't know. You know, that's that's above me above up there. So I really can't. I will really you ever can't do say. the same if you get to that level and you're trying to, you know, make as much as you can before nah, it's over? I can't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Wow. That's just me. I couldn't do it. If I know I'm making some good money. Why would I want to jeopardize my reputation and what wow. I don't act like to make more money or, you know, to set somebody up for failure? No, that's not, wow. that's not me. What's good money to you in boxing? Good money? 10 million a fight? That's a lot of money. Uh, yeah, that's good money. That's real good money. I mean, you're going in there, you're putting your life on the line. Uh, so I think even these little shows or whatever should be... A little, a, bit a little bit more, a little bit uh, enough. But you, you, people from Shawnee, they, they, they come in. They gonna support you. I yes, know sir. that. Yes, you sir. should be able to sell it. Cause I heard that when you sell a ticket, you get a percentage. Yeah. From, oh, okay. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sure do. Before I let you go, come um, champ. Um, do you have any message for your fans in Shawnee, Oklahoma City that they're gonna be coming to see you on that day? Yeah. Uh, uh, just. Prepare for some, some entertainment. Like I said before, it's going to be a good show. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my work. Uh, just come and support like y'all always do. Uh, I know my family's going to be there, and that's all I care about. Yeah. So. Any shout-out to Coach? 
Yeah, shout out to Coach Vernon. Okay. Shout out to Coach. Okay. Been there for me. Okay. You know, through thick and thin. I had some hard times recently, but we got over it. We got through. Now we back in the lab. We back working. That's what's up, man. And before I go, I just want to wish you, you know, uh, best of luck on Saturday, August 31st, mm -hmm. 2024. Yes, sir. Thank you, champ. Yes, sir. Thank you for your time. That's it. Yes, sir. All right.